Hello everyone, this is Adrian. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new telescope that I want to show you. It's um, G-Skyer AZ9600. This is the flagship telescope. It's uh, listed on Amazon.com uh, for adults. I don't know exactly what that means because anybody can use it, but I would assume because the aperture is a little bit higher, that's why they list it as such. And uh, this telescope, it's, it's a very nifty one, it's uh, not very expensive um, and you do get a lot into the box, as you've seen in our unboxing video. And first of all, you get the tube, the optical tube right here, and this is 600 millimeters, if I'm not wrong. And you can, <clears throat> you also get a, a finding scope right here. The build of the telescope itself seems to be very sturdy. Some pieces are metal, some pieces are plastic, but it seems to be very sturdy. And the tripod right here, which has in a locking mechanism, as you can see, I can turn it around very easily. But then if you lock it down, then it stays in place, right? Same thing when you want to find, let's say, the target, you move from this um i'm not sure exactly how you call this but at <laughs> this level and then you can find the target and then you can lock it in place everything seems to be very steady with this telescope which is good uh, the mount right here it's uh, made from a very light material so it's made uh, to be easy to travel around with you know if you go to to a dark sky place and also you get with this telescope a ballo lens right here uh, which is a three times ballo, so that magnifies three times the, the aperture of the telescope. And then you get uh, a lens, which is 25 millimeters. You get another one for 10 millimeters, and you get one, another one for 5 millimeters for the highest magnification. Um, one thing I can tell you, uh, in addition to this, I was talking to the people of GSKY about this telescope to see if we can use it as uh, for us to photography rather so normally this is an observational telescope you can look uh, at the moon you can look um, obviously saturn jupiter uh, mars and you can find some celestial objects like andromeda galaxy uh, orion nebula right you can you can see it through this telescope but it would be pretty cool if you can use this for astrophotography. So let's say if you are a beginner into astronomy, you buy this telescope and at one point you decide to use it for astrophotography. I will actually try to connect a high um, power camera, monochrome camera on this with a filter wheel and see how this tube performs in terms of quality of image in astrophotography. Uh, but that's gonna follow up in a, in the next video so the specs for this telescope are as follows generally speaking this kind of telescope is suited for visual astronomy and i am very curious about this specifically to see if we hook the camera on this one we can get some better results than, than usual. Uh, this is fully coated uh, inside for um, to avoid reflection from, uh, you know, like from stray light. So this might be actually helpful. I'm not 100% sure the quality of the glass, how it is and how it's going to hold up for us to photography, but we'll give it a try. And uh, shortly, I, I hope I have a full review on this telescope and i will have uh, as i said the camera uh, hooked up to it and talking about the camera you can actually use this phone adapter to hook it up to the to the telescope and take pictures with the phone i'm not a big believer on that uh, but again we're gonna try so if you are excited to see the review that i have for this telescope coming up please subscribe uh, don't forget to like and clear skies The spec for this telescope as...
<laughs> the spec for this tele telescope as <laughs> fuck it.